Hi everyone. Oh, we got the Ace of Wands. This is going to be a who's who and what's what, okay, and temperance. So something's, uh, it's like a fresh start. You're feeling feeling alive again, and it's all like moving through healing. It's, it's been about divine timing. Something's balancing out. All right, let's see. What's the main energy for the collective today? Ooh, Seven of Swords. And what is this? Four of Wands. So there, there's like something here there's some sort of uh i i first heard denying something's being denied okay or hidden possibly in somebody's marriage or something about a foundation possibly even like a workplace something's Let's see, what's crossing the Seven of Swords? See, I'm really drawn to that ring beneath um, this is theft, dishonesty. There's like an observer, okay? It's like somebody's holding something back, okay? It's like some somebody has something that they want to give to you but they're not telling you that they have it or maybe maybe it's even yours and they haven't told you yet that they have it something like that okay let's see it's like hidden i'm just getting this hidden energy all right what's crossing this seven of swords here yeah two of wands Plans, partnership, and influence. There's like a hidden path. Something like that. It's like strategically moving. Okay, someone is like probably not sharing their plans okay with with how they're moving all right because that's another way to be like deceptive or you know I guess like keeping things hidden it's like you're not really lying but you're lying by omission omission all right what's going on beneath the surface because you're not saying anything you know yeah queen of wands and four of wands And then the seven of wands. So we have two sevens here. Yeah, there's definitely something. And here's like a phone call. It's like something's being interrupted, right? It's like, like a block, okay? Or there's something that you don't see. I feel like possibly like a path hasn't been exposed to you yet or shown to you or like. But what you don't know is that it's leading you somewhere stable. Like, but you don't know about this. It's like some, it hasn't been revealed yet. All right. What's going on in the foundation? Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Look at this. inheritance family pro property yeah something might be coming to you that you don't even know is coming to you it because i feel like for some of you like because there's a couple different things here okay for some of you um for some of you it is like a hidden pathway right it's like somebody is um about to share something with you or give you something that's going to open up like a whole new road to you right and uh i just heard a road to happy, happy destiny okay and for others of you this is like um i don't know i lost it it'll come back if it'll if it's important all right recent past wait that's way too many recent past yeah nine of wands oh yeah it's that somebody, 
somebody has something. It's like they didn't technically steal it. They've been holding on onto it for like safe measure. Like they, it's like they thought that you would lose it, but they've never told you that they had it and that you got it in the first place. Okay. So somebody did technically steal something from you. Okay. And yeah, I'm hearing like for some of you, they flat out stole it. Okay. And, and they're going to come clean and tell you that they stole it and they're going to give it back to you or what's left of it. Okay. So, but others of you, it's like you receive something and this person, like, like something was meant for you and they fucking took it like it was theirs. Okay. And, uh, knowing that it wasn't theirs, they just like took it from you because they felt like they deserved it more than you, whatever it was. <coughs> okay. But this has something to do with like money. It's something like material. Okay. And they, they've just been sitting on it. They have it like it's theirs. Like they, they think it's theirs. They know it's not. They see you, they know you like would do better with it but they're, they still haven't given it to you. Like it's something like it almost like enrages them to freaking give it to you. Ugh. I just heard they're a liar <laughs> like that. It's just like, whoa. So I don't know who that is. That's that, that might not be for everybody there, but um, yeah, cause there's like two different ener energies here. So Okay, because wherever you're coming from, like, you see how there's the star above her head? I'm feeling like you're headed to your, yeah, your happy destiny, to your, like, dream life, right? Whatever that is. It doesn't have to be anything, like, <clears throat> totally outrageous, but it's just, like, where you want to go. It's just, like, to your happiness, to your own happiness, and it's just, like, it's just been a long, grueling road, right? But there is like this happy outcome, okay? And there's something here, like right in the center is the seven of swords. So it's like there's a piece of information missing and it's either going to steer you down a new road or like either way, whether it's like somebody giving you something. Like for some of you, it's like information. Others of you, it's like, um, it's like an actual thing like somebody has something like maybe it's money maybe it's a house maybe it's it's like um a piece of jewelry okay i'm hearing a, a document okay there was some document i even just heard like forged signature somebody forged somebody's signature and received whatever it was okay what the fuck? All right. What's coming towards the collective? All right. We're getting two cards here. This card flipped over to, oh, see, two of swords and nine of wands. Yeah. See, it's whatever this is, it comes in and it like, this could even be like your intuition. Okay. Somebody's been blocking your intuition. Okay. Or something has been blocking your intuition, but you're moving past this. Yeah. See, cause this says flow, fire, intuition. Okay, you're moving past this uh, stuck energy, this blocked energy, and taking, yeah, you see how this, like, eye is open? Yeah, whatever's been blocking you, it's, it's being removed, and for some of you, <coughs> it's like, it's, it's been denial, okay? For others of you, it's been like, um, the other two things I said, like, somebody is going to offer you something or reveal something to you, like say something to you, and it opens up like a whole nother door that you didn't even like expect or even think about, okay? And then for some of you, it's like somebody actually like took something of yours. Like they're literally holding something that's yours. And in their mind, like how they're justifying it is like, uh, it's like safekeeping. That's what I heard. Like they, they feel like they're better to hold onto it than you because like you would do something drastic with it or waste it or something like that or lose it, whatever it is. Okay. But the thing is, is that it's yours to lose. Right. So, okay. So I don't really know what's going on here, but there's like three different scenarios there. All right. Give me one card here for the collective. Ooh, 
but you are looking as the empress okay some of you uh, may be pregnant, I'm hearing, okay, or just like, and this is luxury, beauty, harmony, abundance, grace, fertility, love, nature, beauty, art, wow. Yeah, you are extremely creative. Um, you're just like implementing your creativity into your life, okay, you could even like be um, beautifying your home, okay, even like changing your appearances, working out, okay, eating better, all right, getting outside. I feel like everything, um, yeah, I'm hearing that song, just like magic, middle finger to my thumb and then I snap it, just like magic, okay, so just looking alive and vibrant, all right, what's coming towards the collective or how are they being viewed Ooh, the high priestess yeah and people know you know your shit <laughs> it says secrets dream wisdom inner voice spirit world yeah you are divinely connected like it is like just written all over your face like people can't even fucking pretend like they don't know like it just exudes off of you like you might I feel like you're yeah, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm walking on sunshine, baby. Woo. And it's time to feel good. Okay, that's on, walking on sunshine. Yeah, but this has come, like, it's like you have gone through massive transformation, okay? Or you are on your way to it. As soon as, like, this, like, whatever this is comes in and, like, frees you to go down the path that you choose, right? And you're headed towards a life filled with like luxury is the first word they gave me, okay? Yeah, but um, you are being seen as the high priestess, okay? You could have like, um, the high priestess is the Libra in the um, in the Zodiac. So some of you, you may be a Libra or you may also have a Libra coming towards you or something's we're in Libra season. Okay. So this could be happening like right around now. This swift change. Okay. And, um, I feel like a drastic change in, in appearance too, because like, um, look, this is this is who I'm being like look look at all the and it goes like this like this was here and then this one and then here so it's like it's like you've changed okay you you metamorphosized is what I'm hearing okay all right hopes and fears okay we're getting two queen of pentacles and the strength This is again about abundance. Okay, you could be worried that things aren't going to work out for you or but that is not here in this reading, okay? It is working out. There's I feel like um I'm hearing a non-disclosure form, okay? I don't know somebody might have you sign something like that. I don't I don't I don't even know what the fuck why they would say that. Like that just came. I just heard that there's a um, cause somebody could come approach you ab about this. So maybe even the person that comes to you with whatever they have, they might have you sign that or, or I don't know, there, there's something, whatever you're entering into or somebody's approaching you and you might have to sign one of those. All right. What's the best possible outcome here? Ooh, five of cups. Sorrow and then the magician. But I feel like this is what you're being moved away from is this regret, okay, and loss. But I also feel like this Five of Cups is like there might be some people that um regretting the loss of, you know, like whoever this was that was like blocking, blocking uh, your pathway here, your pathway forward. Like they're being removed, okay? And, and this is either through like, somebody coming and telling you something or they're giving something back to you or it's because like you suddenly get like a reality check you know and you realize like 
like you're no longer in denial about who and what somebody is. Okay. So, um, so I feel like that's where the regret is coming from. All right. And you, you may, you may be feeling some sort of regret just like, or loss because it says loss leaving sorrow. Okay. Because I feel like, yeah, for sure. Like you are moving ahead and quickly and just like, uh, really being seen and recognized for who and what you are. Okay. Yeah. See, moving forward, six of swords. Yeah. The magician, uh, just creating whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Power action, skill, power action. It's like you're, you're recognizing your power. You're using your power and your strength towards it. That's what I feel like it gets harnessed and is like being, um, like you're learning how to like, like they just showed me somebody singing. It's like going to a, like, let's say you sing great, but then you go to a vocal cord, vocal coach. Right. And then it's like your range just goes like, like, holy shit. Your voice just changes like dramatically, but it, like, in like this super positive way, like you never even like you already sang great, but now you're, now you sing like, like a fucking all-star, right? Yeah, you're walking away from whatever doesn't serve you and towards this um, brand new beginning here. And it closes out this this cycle. Yeah, here's this fresh start. The Fool, see? You went through this massive transformation. Yeah, acceptance, awakening. Yeah, you're going towards your happiness. And there, there could be people around you or surrounding you or you may even like be keeping it quiet or you're being guided to keep it quiet for a while until like, um, I'm, I'm hearing that Caitlin song by, uh, it's called pop out. <laughs> when I pop out, show me that. Yeah. Just listen to it. So it's like something is definitely shifting here in a really big way. All right. Seven of swords. Yeah. Travel. Yeah, see, somebody, um, I feel like somebody is on their way to you and you don't know this. Somebody may be coming towards you, like, it could even be like some sort of surprise, okay? Or, um, yeah, they want to come tell, tell somebody something here. Somebody might even tell you that they're married or they got married or... Something like that. Or maybe they want to marry you. There we do have the four of wands and the ten of pentacles here. I don't I don't know. Alright, the two of wands. It's been hard not to think of what used to be. Yeah, two of wands. It's like whatever comes through, it helps you make this decision on which path to take, or it opens up this new path. Alright? It's like between like the past, like where you've been and where you're headed. Okay, beneath the surface, contemplation. I've been thinking a lot about us. Tell me, do you think of me too? Yeah, so, yeah I'm hearing that song reminiscing. Yeah, see, somebody feels stuck wherever they are. This, this person could be married, okay? Like like I said, like somebody could be coming to tell you that they're married and like they're, there ain't nothing they can do about it. <laughs> or something like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, but this is also like, okay, what I, what I also just heard is like, this is like somebody who is already married and they're, they're like, um, contemplating their own marriage, you know, and like what they want to do. And it's like, they're coming to talk, talk to you about it. Like you as your, maybe like for guidance, somebody, somebody needs guidance, like, so you may be helping them with their marriage, but also uh, you could be married to this person and this person is coming to you to be like, you know, is there still a flame inside there for you, for me <laughs> within you? You know, something like that. It's like somebody's trying to decide like, because there's something here about pride and um, I'm hearing pride and prideful and resentful. Okay. And so it's like, somebody could have, this, this could have been what's being denied because I, f I feel like I always have like both sides watching my videos here. Okay. So, um, 
That's why you got to just like put yourself wherever you go. But it's like somebody could even be like realizing, um, realizing that they're the one that has been fucking up, right? And, and they're the cause for so much drama within this connection, okay? And it doesn't have to be romantic. Like this, like it's the four ones. So that could be like a marriage. That could be like some sort of partnership, business partnership. It could be like anything that's like a stable foundation. Okay. Okay. In the foundation here. Yeah. Lust. If only you knew how much I crave you. Yeah. And divinely guided. See, this is what this, this, um, it's like somebody can no longer deny how they're feeling. Okay. That is a really big part of what's coming through here. Okay. It's like, they don't just see you as a wife. Like they just want, they, they want to like, like they're super fucking attracted. They want to devour you is what I heard. Okay. So, um, it's like. This person is very attracted to you as well. For those of you that this is end moving towards a, a commitment, but also like some of you are like forming uh, work partnerships that there is a big sexual attraction. Okay. And I feel like this person may try to hide that. Okay. <laughs> Or maybe they've been trying to hide that or maybe you're entering a connection that's going to be like that where they're going to try and hide it. But it's like it can't be hidden. Like it's like it's 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 to this point where it can't be hidden. OK. And also for for some of you, like somebody stole something. The, the person that stole from you, like for some of you, somebody got like somebody stole like a shit ton of money from them. And what they did was they seduced them. Right. And they like entered into a family situation, like just completely manipulated and lied in this situation. And then they like, it's like, then they took like half their money or all their money or something like that. Okay. It's like somebody got fucking stolen from here and it literally left like a deep impact. Okay. But it's like some, somebody's being freed from this. Okay. And there's like, um, yeah, they're saying again this non-disclosure. Okay, I I don't know what that or who that's for. Okay, recent past. Yeah, tough beginning. See, yeah, superficiality. There's like, um, it's been a long fucking road, like an uphill battle. Okay, it's it's like, um, whatever's happened here to get to this point where like everything's being exposed because the shit is coming out. All right. It's like, it can not be seen. All right. Whether this is happening today, tomorrow, whatever, next week, I don't know. Everybody's like in, in a different area. All right. Um, to get to this point, a lot of shit went down. Okay. Like you probably wanted to, to quit many, many times. Okay. You probably felt a lack of support. Okay. But you were being guided and, and you kept being picked back up, right. By the strength of God to like, just keep moving forward. Right. All right. So what's coming towards the collective here? Love story. Yeah. See, there's some like beginning, a fresh start, new beginning. And then this is not for you. All right. So it's like, whatever has been hidden, I just keep getting that whatever's been hidden or blocked. Okay. It's like no longer going to be hidden. Okay. You could have, um, it's like you're, you're, they're calling a spade a spade. And I feel like that's come through before in one of my other readings. Okay. It's like being able to see who's who and what's what. All right. Yeah. The Empress comes with risk. Take the risk or lose the chance. That is the question. Okay. And I feel like this is what, like either you're saying it's, it's like, it's like you never know what you're going to do. So it's like, um, yeah, I'm here and take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. Okay. So, and there's, there's like a, a meme or something. I don't know. They say like, oh, I know what it is. It's Bob Marley said it and it is a meme, but he, he's talking about, um, about love and like, it's like, he says something about like the truth is 
everybody's going to hurt you. You just got to find the one worth um, hurting for, something like that. Okay, and I feel like that's what this risk is about. Okay, it's like you can't sit around and fear. I mean, you can sit around and like be like, I'm never getting in a relationship again because of whatever happened back here. Okay, but um, it's like taking a risk and venturing forward. Okay, it's like learning how to love again. I, I feel like that is like what there's like a heart chakra opening here, and there was something here that made me. Reminded me of like green. They just showed me somebody in a green dress. I feel like it was one of the cards, but oh well. It's fine. I don't know. All right. Who's coming towards? Be yeah. If only there was a way I could make you feel my love. Yeah, see, this is this is what's hidden because the high priestess reveals or or, or she keeps things hidden, right? Or she um yes it says here secrets dreams wisdom inner voice spirit world somebody has not shared their emotions or how they feel about a situation or something like that and i feel like they're being moved to do that and whatever is stopping them from doing that is being removed. All right. Hopes and fears. Yeah, soul contract. Look at this. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fill. To fulfill. Yeah, so as this Queen of Pentacles, like maybe like you've been worried uh, about like your marriage or it's like if you're going to ever find your king like some of you might be thinking that but it's like um because whoever you are whether you're male or female it's like you are stable like you can take care of yourself you have your own money you pay your own bills i know endings are painful but it's best that we move on from here this could have been somebody that like you walked away from but it's like I mean, maybe because they were in denial yeah they see it's going back to denial here all right the outcome dang moving secretly i swear i said something about like a hidden path i, I feel like i said something about that I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. Okay, but I feel like whatever is changing, it's like this whole like turn. Oh, here's the green dress. There's This is the person that they showed me. <laughs> That's like your heart. It's like uh, creating from your heart, okay? And um, from your heart, heart space and not your mental space, right? And not like the logical thing of like what you should want, but really listening to your heart and creating from there okay and this like moving in secretly so it's like whatever like as you're allowing for the development of whatever is like in your heart that you're creating okay as this magician there is like it's like it's like a bittersweet energy of leaving of leaving behind the the logical or what makes sense right so uh possibly you're 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 stepping more into your spiritual path because you know if you've been watching my channel you know my journey journey has been fucking crazy right and um but it's like all in good fun it's like taking you to the next level deeper understanding of self closer connection to God, the universe, whatever you want to call it. it says it hurts to let go, but sometimes it hurts more to hold on. And I feel like this is the reality of the situation. It's like of whatever has been, whatever you've been, and I just did a reading or not a reading, but I, I read like well, an actual reading. I read out of that, um, the language of letting go book, uh, and in my previous video. And, and this is really about what it's, talking about because it's saying like 
you're not a victim, but this is about this codependency. It's like not wanting to lose what you have, but like having to recognize like the reality of the situation in situations that aren't like working for you or like making you like crazy or sad or miserable. And like when you've asked for help or said what's like bothering you for so much and then like the situation isn't changing, like you have no other choice but to walk away unless you want to like give your life to this individual who's like obviously doesn't care that you're going insane right okay or can't see doesn't have the vision to see that what they're doing is hurting you right so it's like i feel like this is what this is about and so maybe this is like how um this person is i just feel like maybe they've said it before or maybe like you've thought something was going to work out before and it didn't. So this time it's like, rather than like give you something to, to like hope about, like they're just going to like make all the changes first. Like they're not going to talk about it. They're just going to be about it. Right. And this person might just like show up. Yeah. Look, you are so beautiful. I get butterflies when I see you. Yeah. This person, there's somebody here that's like really into you. And this person could be very alone. <laughs> And it says, I had to walk away to find what I deserve. Yeah. And I feel like, yeah, look, awaken love. Now I know and understand that I'm in love with you. And then this says the, the, the other, I hate when this card comes out. I mean, look at how, I mean, she's beautiful and everything, but looks can be deceiving, right? So it's like, so possibly this is like some sort of, um, third, party individual uh in situation for some of you okay and this is a secret admirer yeah yeah see apology and see there's a sacrifice and i feel like that's what's like been like this block is like not wanting to release whatever but somebody is being it's like the cloud is being removed from their eyes okay the van the whatever was covering it yeah see it's all been about divine timing yeah dang i just i just felt this jealousy and like um i didn't say the word out loud like it's like there's a lot of jealousy and envy surrounding whatever is happening here okay and so i feel like this is why things have been so discreet and maybe you haven't been aware of everything that's actually been going down and I don't feel like you're really meant to know that like it doesn't really matter okay um it, it's really about like doing what's in front of you and just being where you are enjoying your moment right being grateful for being this empress high in this empress and high priestess energy i mean for you to be in this energy you got to be doing some badass fucking work like deep diving in who and what you are right to hit this level okay so um and you can't be like all caught up in the drama because I feel like whatever is it was back here in this this tough beginning and stuff has a lot to do with like drama and I'm hearing interceptions. Okay, so there were, were probably like nine different times where like this movement forward just got blocked like okay, but now now it's being catapulted is what I'm hearing. You you'll be catapulted forward wherever you should have been by now you're gonna go right there that that's what i'm hearing <laughs> all right so there you go okay um oh wow and look at look at this top card it says this this journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lessons and that's patience and look i long for your kisses and your touch so for some of you this is romantic okay and for for others of you like well i already said everything so i'm not going to say it again but um yeah just take take what um take what fits right i love you if anyone's interested in a personal reading all my information is in the description box all right bye guys